Hey everybody, welcome to Precision Impact. My name is Dirk and on today's rundown, we're gonna talk about something that's very important on any sports organized team and that's leadership. Now, leadership is something that I'm currently having a bit of an issue with with my team that I'm coaching and it's something that I wanted to bring to light to everybody here as well and just express a little bit about some of the things that go into what makes a good leadership and better yet, how to create an environment that creates leaderships. Now, something that I'm starting to find is that leadership starts from the top. Good coaches are not going to create good followers, but ultimately what we're trying to do is create more leaders. So some of the things we've got to do is create an environment where leaders can thrive and start to rise no matter the size, the strength, the skill or talent, we're trying to create an environment where true leaders can start to surface. Now that very well might be making sure that the people that are preventing leaders from being formed are the odd man out. Instead of having a, a, a team of you know 18 to 20 players and 10 or 15 of them start scrutinizing and teasing the odd man for wanting to be a leader, it's important to create a culture where being a leader is ultimately what you want or what is encouraged. Now that can be done in a numerous different ways, but what I'm trying to do is, is try to express what a leadership actually represents and that's somebody that we respect not out of fear no coaches ultimately are forms of authority but what we're trying to do is also be leaders as well now when it comes to players being leaders it's really important that those players realize that you don't necessarily have to be the most talented you don't have to be the tallest or the strongest or most skilled player it's, it's an attitude and when you show up to the yard, it directly refre reflects how you dress and how you conduct yourselves and how you practice and how you train. Um, and it, all these things ultimately will form a leader and other players will start to take notice. It's how you, how you conduct yourself on and off the field, on the bases, off the bases, in the dugout. Um, are you that guy that gets rallies going or the ones that are the most active no matter whether you're playing or not? Are you, are you doing the little things that help your team win baseball games or at the very least be more successful. Now, we, you have to definitely communicate to that year to your players to make sure they understand that they just because they aren't the best on the team doesn't necessarily mean they can't be one of the biggest leaders or a huge influence in your success going forward, but that takes communication, it takes understanding, and it takes you to sometimes lay it out as to what this team needs. So my team in particular, we're full of a lot of talented and skilled players, but nobody really feels the desire to step up and be a leader. Everyone kind of wants to be on the same page, nobody wants to be segregated for good or for bad, but it's important that every team has some form of a leader or you know the overall goal is to have multiple leaders in whether it be in the outfield alone you know typically your center fielder is going to be a huge leader you're going to put a huge role model out there your shortstop as well in terms of your infield is going to be a huge leader on behind the dish as your catcher is probably one of the most crucial leaders somebody who can be loud and proud and control the game from behind the dish you also need leaders in the dugout that, that can make rally the troops or at the very least keep things energized in the dugout, make sure people are doing the right thing, they're not losing focus, they're not on their, on their phones. There just aren't enough coaches on some of these younger squads to be able to manage all areas of every game. So it's important that you start developing leaders within your team from a coach's standpoint. If you're a player and you notice that there's lack of leadership on your team, take the initiative. Find out what it is that your team needs. What kind of skill set, what kind of requirements are you going to require to step up and be a leader? Now, if you're, if you're getting scrutiny from your teammates, that's just them not wanting to be leaders and, and scrutinizing you for wanting to step up. And you can't let that deter you from wanting to be a good leader. And as a coach, if you see that, it's important that you don't allow that to happen. You want leaders to rise up through your ranks. You want to be a kind of a leader and an authoritative coach that creates more leaders, not simply just followers that do what you say, but having players on your team that you can trust to delegate things to do, to take players over there to help other be instructed or just make sure they run smoothly. You're going to find that you're more successful as a team, that you're getting more done. Your practices are more productive. Your games are going smoother, and that allows you to do your job as a coach specifically, and that is to mentor and to coach and facilitate the game to go forward. As those games uh, begin, we have less of a role. We can only co control so much off the field, from the dugout, from the corners in terms of the bases. It's important that you have the right people in the right places doing the right things with the right mentality to make sure that 
when you're not able to go take a mound visit that your shortstop or your third base or your catcher calls time and talks to the pitcher and calms things down. If there's a play in the outfield, it's important that immediately the right person starts to communicate and that the other players respect and respond well to that communication. So it's very important to understand what a leader consists of and how to create one and then do your best to create a culture and an environment where they begin to thrive. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding the video, please leave a comment down below. Thanks.